Welcome to BISPTraining.com. My name is Sumit, and today I'm here with a new Salesforce Advanced Development. And in this video, we'll be going to demonstrate you that how to configure Twitter SSO for, for Salesforce. You might have seen in various places that whenever you try to log in on a website or you want to register somewhere on a portal, they ask you either logged in as a registered user or you can use your social uh, social services like facebook you can log log in through your uh, social network like sales for uh, facebook or twitter or linkedin and uh, when you provide your twitter account tw twitter credentials or facebook credentials or google credential they allow you to log in they get registered you with the information extracted from the social networks and you have you will be they logged in into that portal successfully to you so same kind of functionality we would be going to implement within salesforce so i got a requirement from one of our client and they would like to configure that whenever any of their existing the new users they try to access their salesforce application they can create a new user or they can log in as they're using their Twitter accounts. So in order to do that, uh, we decided that we would be going to offer same thing, we'll be going to configure same thing for them. So therefore, uh, I'm going to demonstrate you how to do that. So first of all, uh, to for this activity, you, you should have your Salesforce developers account and a Twitter accounts also. And I've got both of them. And as you can see, I got my Salesforce developers account and my Twitter account. And in my Twitter account, I have already configured one app. I've already created one app named as BISP test app. And that's an app ID. And these are my details. Uh, so we will be going to customize these informations like keys and tokens will be going to use them later on uh, there's a request that don't try to uh, use the same api keys and access tokens or access token secret because uh, this is only for this demonstration after this demonstration i will regenerate the I a api keys and access tokens also so you won't be able to use them anymore uh, so first of all what we have to do is we need to configure an oath provider in our salesforce so I'll switch to Salesforce and search for Oath provider. And in Oath provider, uh, if you have already configured any Oath provider earlier, that's pretty good. If you are doing it very first time, so you'll get an interface like this and you need to click on new. And here, search for the service view which you want to use for your Oath provider. And I would like to configure for Twitter. Twitter, I'll give name as my Twitter provider and i'll choose same name my twitter provider now as you can see it is asking for consumer key and consumer secret so i'll switch to my twitter account and i'll copy this consumer api key and paste it in consumer key and uh, api secret key i pasted in consumer secret then uh, i click on automatically create a registration handler uh, we will be going to customize this handler later on and execute registration as and I simple select that it would be executed as Sumit Goyal and uh, icon URL. So if you are not sure about the icon URL, click on choose one of sample icon and we can choose any one of them. So I'm interested in Twitter gray icon. So I copy this gray icon and paste it here. So I'll simple save this and once we save this, we got the callback url this callback url is required so this callback url we have to provide in our twitter app so just copy this callback url from here get back to your twitter development app click on app details and here you will find out a field called callback url so this callback url you need to change so right now it is while conferring this i i just mentioned localhost.com but now I'm going to edit this and the callback URL, which I copied from my authorized provide authorization provider, oath provider, this callback URL, I just paste it here and click on save. So we did this much, but now the next thing is 
we need to customize the auto created register handler so i right click and open in a new tab and this authorization is an apex class so this i need to customize i need to change uh, so what i'm going to do is i already got uh, i've already got one code script so i just copy this apex class script and paste it here so i just paste it now let me explain you about this what what exactly we are doing so we are looking for uh, accounts and whenever any user registered through twitter if they are using twitter sso so we would like to assign them an account name as twitter account so make sure that you already created this account as twitter account so as you can see i did so that would be marked under twitter account and then a uh, user would be registered at customer portal manager so uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to set the profile the current profile for that user will be as a uh, customer portal manager so this you can decide by yourself to where would you like to register or you can create a new profile for twitter profile or social profile it depends on you you can give them permissions as per your requirement so whatever profile name you want to assign to that user that profile name you have to pass here but make sure that profile name must exist in your pro, under your profile instant directory so customer portal manager so we have a customer portal manager so let me have a look so we have this so we have customer community manager and we have customer portal user customer plus user so as you can see here i don't have customer portal manager so it is it looks for this customer portal manager if this profile does not exist then it will take you to uh, it will it will register as a standard user so let's do one thing what i'm doing i would like to register this as i would like to register this as customer community user or customer uh, community com customer sales is there customer portal manager let me set this customer portal user so as you can see i don't have customer portal user so what i'm going to do is i'll just look for customer community user so i just copy this customer community user customer community user and instead of customer portal manager i paste customer community user so that new user will be registered at customer community user and uh, that user name would be automatically assigned and team will be assigned so that's all changes we required in this and i simple click on save so uh, we made changes in our register handler and now let's go and test it so in order to test it i'll just copy this test only in uh, initialization url i copy this and add a new tab this tab this uh, this uh ingog into tab so this basically it, it won't save any information so this is safe for use and let's try uh, let's use it right now so i just enter and as you can see as i entered it take me to uh, authorization from twitter so i i'll let me provide my twitter account twitter details twitter credentials and click on sign in and once everything is successful they will it will provide me my information so as you can see it extract my details from my twitter accounts so that's my organization id that's my username my information is coming so it it indicates that we have logged in successfully and our info the authorization has been successfully done so we can use this credential we can you now we can use this authorization provider to log in into salesforce or to log in into community so this is how we can configure the twitter sso for our salesforce account and uh, to continue further you need to register a domain and in that domain you can add a you can provide a button where user can log in a user can log in into your salesforce instance by providing the details by providing their credentials or by clicking on that button and once they provide once they provide their author uh, once they provide their credentials for twitter twitter will verify them and it will revert back it will 
uh, basically it will redirect them back to the successful in, means uh, to that particular page or to a particular information so that's the way how we can configure twitter sso for our uh, salesforce so that's all in this video i hope this gives you a lot of information if you have uh, some requirements on integration part you can get back to us we are expert in that thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye